So here's one of these short stories where it never ceases to amaze me just how selfish some people can be and the kind of crap they try to pull on people they think they claim that they love. Titled, I, a 30-year-old male, was recently told by my girlfriend of 10 years that she thinks she might like girls. Am I the a-hole if I don't want to wait around? And I shout out to Nick for sending me the story. Now listen to this. I'm not sure what to do about this because she says she still loves me and I still love her. Of course she says that. We still cuddle and cry together about this every day because we live together. You cry together? Smack! Grow some balls, dude. She wants to break up and explore her sexuality, but she's terrified that she's making a huge mistake by leaving me. Translation, she doesn't want to lose her safety net. She says things like, I could never possibly love another man other than me. And that isn't really the compliment that she seems to think it is. Because, well, there's still a lot of women in the world. She's always been bi, and to be honest, I've always been supportive of that. But I'm a little worried that one day this might happen. Intimacy slowed down a lot, but she has mental health issues, so I just assumed her medication was killing her sex drive. So this guy got involved with her knowing that uh, she says that she's bi, which... Okay, she's bi, she's bi. I got no problem with that. But the problem is that that can come back to haunt him, which it is, as well as she has mental issues. I mean, you want to talk about White Knight Central here. I mean, this is just as absolutely stupid. I'm worried because we we uh, finding new places to live over the next month, and I just feel like I'm going to sit around and wait for her to experiment with women and either get my heart broken for a second time when she has to break the news to me, and that makes me very anxious about the upcoming months. Then you don't wait around, bro. Have some self-respect. And by the way... I'm sure some of you guys are can agree with what I'm about to say here. I've known people throughout my life that were not straight, men and women, uh, clients, co-workers when I, when I was working at a gym and restaurants when I was younger, uh, friends, clients, I have, all that, that uh, bat for the other team. Good people, liked them a lot. And they all said, because they love to talk about their lies, that they knew when they were kids, without a shadow of a doubt. So the fact that she's claiming she's not quite sure, she has to explore things, no, she just wants to keep you around to have fun. Maybe she can find something better. And if it doesn't work out, she can have you there waiting. She says she isn't, you know, a lesbian. That she would want to be with me because she no longer has to be curious about if she really likes girls. She knows she likes girls. Would I be stupid just to wait for her? Yes. Part of me thinks that this seems like she just wants to have her cake and eat it too. She does. I know it isn't as simple as that. She isn't requesting that I stay single. She says it makes her sick to even think about me being with someone else. So she's saying it makes her sick with this guy being with someone else, but she has no problem being with multiple someone else's with boobs. Oh, okay, that, that's real fair. It worries me because she really wants to continue hanging out with me and keep me in her life after we move out. I want to see her too, but I also wonder if it will just make things harder if she ends up wanting to pursue women. What do you mean wanting to pursue women? She does want to pursue women. She is pursuing women. I don't think something... There's obviously something going on behind the scenes, amigo. She wants to keep you on layaway in case things don't work out. If she was saying she wanted to go see other dudes, would you wait around if she was seeing other dudes? No. We aren't intimate in the sense of sex since breaking up, but we still hold each other and cuddle and share a bed and exchange kisses on the cheeks and forehead. Oh, yay. That's, that's so great. There have been dozens of moments where we have shared glances and are just screaming, I really want to kiss you now. But we both have been, uh, they know that could be a slippery slope, so we refrain. This is just so confusing because we love each other so much. Uh, you love her. She doesn't love you as much. Part of me wants to get out of there and explore, but that also terrifies me. I would hate to fall in love with someone else and she ends up not being gay. What do you mean, not? She obviously is into women. I'd hate to turn the tables and break her heart. What should I do? Smack! You need to pull your head out of your ass and accept reality here. You don't want to break her heart? She has no problem breaking your heart. She has no problem toying with you, putting you on a layaway. Look, she knows darn well what she's into and what she's not into. And like I said, I've known so many men and women that bat for the other team, good people, clients, friends, co-workers, you name it. They all admit they knew when they were young. There's no confusion here. That's bullshit. She's 30 years old. She knows. But she knows that you're so in love with her, you're not going anywhere. She's taking advantage of your love and kindness. Someone that loves you doesn't do that. Okay, bro? So, goodbye, honey. This ain't going to work. You should have told me a, lot, a long time ago. But then again, she told him from the get-go. He said he knew that she was bi, that she was attracted to women. He's just wondering if she's full-on, wants to be with women full-time. 
you know. But obviously, you're not get, getting any right now because she prefers the uh, sushi to egg rolls. So, no, this is not going to work. And you're always going to be wondering. But you spent a third of your life with her. So, you know, you don't really know what life is like without her. You have that attachment. And that can happen to anybody. But it's time to move on, bro. Have some self-respect. I, I mean, God Almighty. And you, you, this is not going to go away. Now a couple comments for Ryan. This one guy says, she wants to keep you in the pocket while she pursues someone else. Come on, man. In no situation should this be acceptable. Life is full of roads, not taken. That's simply how it is. If you truly love someone, you're committed to them, and, th and those are the options. Those options no longer matter. Swap out any other characteristic that aren't and ask yourself if you'd want to stick around while she pursued that. Taller, shorter, stronger, bigger, smaller, dominant, submissive, kinky, vanilla, different race, color, whatever. It doesn't matter because there are infinite combinations out there that she will not have yet tried and could come along with any time. Are you going to wait on the sidelines for the next option that she has to explore? Exactly. Have some self-respect. Not the a-hole. Seriously, don't torture yourself by staying a part of it. Cut, cut ties. Figure out who you are as an individual and pursue your own happiness. Amen. One more. Guy says, she's not asking to have a threesome or temporarily open the relationship to experience SCX with women. She's saying, I'm breaking up with you and looking for a better relationship, and I'm not even sure if I was attracted to you in the first place. There's no going back from that. There's no getting back together and living happily ever after as you say that about your partner and your relationship. Even if she's generally confused and trying to explore herself, she had to realize how extremely shitty that she's treating you. But since she doesn't, uh, doesn't, you have to realize it and stand up for yourself. Amen. But anyhow, guys, someone pulls this crap with you, over. End of story. And it's nothing against those that bat for the other team. It's just having some self-respect. Good luck, dude.